Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video, we're in rural East Tennessee capturing images of a wonderful historic old country store. I'm shooting digital as always, and I brought along my Hasselblad 500CM with a roll of Cinestill Double X black and white film. This is a test run because I recently repaired the light seals in the film back, and the results of this film will tell me if I did that correctly or not. And I'm happy to report that the light seal repair was a success. What we're looking at here is the M.E. True General Merchandise Store in the mountains of East Tennessee. The light was so bright I was able to shoot with the Hasselblad handheld. The Cinestill Double X is rated at 250 ISO in daylight. The smaller building on the left was built in 1890 by a man named John W. True, and the second, larger building was opened in 1903. I'll give you some of the history here, but you can also find a very in-depth and thoroughly researched history on my blog at iCatShadows.com. Just do a search for Trues to find it. That will also include links to videos of the store when it was still in business in the 1990s, including interviews with a former owner, Mortimer E. True, who died in 1996. These are photographs that were included in the National Register of Historic Places application that was submitted in 1976. Country stores were a valuable resource for rural people back in the days before supermarkets, big box stores, or even cars were common. Shoppers could buy food, ammunition, farm supplies and implements, hardware, nails, headache medicine, hats and shoes, candy, feed and seed, and even swaths of fabric. But stores were also a place to pick up your mail, catch up on news from other people. Uh, they were a place to relax over a game of checkers while having a cold soft drink, like an RC Cola. They were a place to meet friends and relatives and catch up on local gossip. Some of them, like the ME True General Merchandise Store, even extended hundreds or thousands of dollars of credit to local farmers while they waited for the crops to be harvested. This land was purchased in the 1830s by a man from Kentucky named Dr. Thomas True. The family established a farm and various businesses that were eventually run by Dr. True's grandsons. There was a sawmill, a threshing machine, a cotton mill, a flour mill, and a family farm. Mortimer True began managing the store under the name True Brothers in 1925. He became the sole proprietor in 1975 and changed the name to M.E. True General Merchandise Store. Mortimer True operated the store with his wife until he died on April 1st, 1996. Now, Mrs. True didn't want to continue the store on her own, so it was closed permanently in 1996. They put plexiglass over the windows and it made it hard to actually peek inside.
Next to the old store is this lot that has an abandoned wooden structure on it. I have no idea what this ruin might have been, but perhaps this is a remnant of the True's sawmill or one of their other businesses. And across the road, tucked into the trees and the overgrown brush, is this old wooden barn. I shot this from across the road with my 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And if we look really close at the image, we can see a few square nails in there, which dates this barn to the late 1800s or maybe earlier. And I'm not sure what to make of this. Well, thanks for joining me as I explored and photographed this fascinating location. Be sure to see more of my black and white photographs at keithdotson.com.